Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Bones' Vlogs. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Skelty and I are super excited for today's vlog because we've got a ton of action stuff that's going to happen. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash that like button wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you guys are having a pretty good day today and hopefully we can make today better. And, you know, we I always like to say to people that life is always about being happy, living your best life, doing what makes you feel happy and good about your life. And today we're going to be doing some cool stuff, like launching missiles. No, this is not a terrorist attack. Please, government, don't say anything. I'm not... Uh, uh, no. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually getting arrested by the government. But yeah, don't try this at home, kids. Stay tuned. Guys, what the heck? Someone just broke into our house. Hey, what the? So I hope you guys are having a great day so far today, like I said, and I hope that Bone, this episode, can make it a little bit better. Anyway, let's get to the point, guys. The thing you all want to see, probably the main reason you clicked on this video, because it's going to be the title and basically. You guys are probably wondering right now, what the heck is Bones talking about, man? Missile launcher? In his backyard? Yeah, it's right there. You don't believe me? Let's get a closer look. Now, I have a friend named Finn McMissile in the DOTD, Department of Talking World Defense. He works for the Talking World Military. And basically, this is like a decommissioned weapon. It was um, not very effective in some of the like border control things. There was like these demon creatures attacking Talking World and they were evil and they tried to use this weapon and it didn't work as well as some of the other weapons they have. So Finn McMissile said, hey, Bones, as long as you don't attack anybody with it, you can use the missile launcher. And I was like, heck yeah, that's gonna be a great vlog. So check it out, It's it can be mobile. You can move it around. Right now the treads are off, but it's an automatic thing. You can see parts of the engine right there, but I'm not messing with that. There's caution tape, although I don't know why, it's a big missile launcher. But yeah, this is the main attraction. Kids at home, never try this. Don't look into the barrel of the gun. But as you can see, first of all, don't use guns, kids. If you're a kid right now watching this video, don't use a gun. Don't even think about picking it up, all right? This is a bad idea. We're adults. Skelty and I are both over the age of 18. Don't use guns, kids. Please, please don't. don't. That's not a good idea. But yeah, basically, this is where the missile will shoot out of. Check this out. This is a really long barrel because the missile is pretty big. I'm hoping it doesn't too, do too much damage to our backyard because that would suck. I've worked a long time to get this backyard. It, it Never mind, it's not actually perfect. It's really a big mess. An explosion would probably not do much to it. But yeah, basically what you do, there's controls down here. Guys, I just don't want any of you to try this at home. Don't try and get your hands on a missile launcher because it won't end well. We are unprofessional professionals, so we know we've done this kind of thing before. No, we haven't. And I really hope nothing goes wrong. I'm pretty sure something's going to go wrong. Anyway, let's just get Skelty and give this a spin. Okay, guys, I think Bones already mentioned this, but if you're watching this, don't try this at home. Don't try and get a missile launcher. Don't use guns or any firearms or explosives. They are extremely dangerous. They are 100% not toys, and you should not try and use any weapon at all, okay? This is just, we are doing this so you guys don't have to, okay? So we're going to go ahead and test this out now. This is very dangerous, Bones. We might actually get demonetized. Ha! Life hack. You can't get demonetized if you're not monetized to begin with. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, guys, this is probably not the best idea, but we're going to try dry firing it. There's just like a propulsion mechanism, and it makes a really, really loud sound. Bones was doing it a couple times for the Instagram clip that he did, and I was like, geez, that's loud. But yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. <laughs> 
So it seems like it's working pretty well. That was really loud, but I don't even want to know what it's going to sound like when the missile actually launches. So now what we're going to do is um, my friend Finn McMissile I was talking about gave us a missile. He gave us two. Two of them. So we're going to use them sparingly. We're going to use one and aim it. I just realized this is dangerously close to the gazebo. This took a long time. We're going to move it. Okay, guys, the missile launcher is now aimed in a safe direction. It's not near anything. It's not going to destroy anything else. It's the opposite direction from our house. So hopefully we can just launch the missile and see what happens. So the first one, what we're going to do is we're just going to fire it and I'm going to film the explosion. The second missile, we are going to launch it straight up into the air. I'm going to be following it with a drone and then we're going to show the explosion on the ground. So one of them is just going to be an explosion. The other one is going to be an air launch. So yeah, let's go ahead and Try this first missile, guys. I'm scared. Okay, guys, remember, do not try this at home. We're getting ready to launch a missile in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh my gosh, guys. That was... Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we turned it away from, like, the gazebo in the house and stuff, because it would have destroyed something if... That was a huge explosion, guys. Did you see how big that was? Oh, my gosh, guys. <sighs> I'm so glad that we didn't put it near anything because I would have destroyed everything, man. Guys, that was the biggest explosion I've seen in my life. This thing is crazy. And we got one more to test. This one's going up into the sky, and it's going to hopefully come back down and have an even bigger explosion, maybe. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. That's right, guys. We are about to launch missile numero dos. So let's go ahead and load it up and then launch it into the sky. Okay, here we go. Aiming the missile launcher up. I want to see how high we can get it. Yo, I'm pretty sure that one was bigger than the other one, guys. Dude. This thing is deadly, guys. Do not try any of this at home. I know you probably don't have a military-grade missile launcher in your backyard. That's awesome, guys. That's insane. Those were the only two missiles we had, but that was awesome. Smash like right now if you thought that that explosion was crazy, guys. And I tried to follow it with the drone for a little bit, but um, I had to switch. Skelty had the camera down here, and I couldn't follow it with the drone. So if, like, the drone footage cuts abruptly, it's because I couldn't keep track of the missile. It was too fast. All right, we're just going to store the missile launcher right there for now. But yeah, now what we're going to do is take a spin on Edward's police monster truck that he left here. Basically, him and Christina went on another vacation, and they took Charlotte with them, but Edward didn't want to leave his car at his house, his police car right here at his house, because technically he's not supposed to leave it somewhere, he has to bring it back to the station, but since he's going to the airport, he can't exactly bring it back to the station and then drive back. It's just a big hassle, because, um... He doesn't want to have to take, like, two cars or anything, and if he drives the police car, he doesn't want to make multiple stops or any of that. Basically, what I'm saying is he left it here with us because of convenience. So what I'm going to do is tie a chain or rope to the back, and then we're going to attach that rope to Skelty's snowboard that he made all on his own, and I'm going to pull Skelty around on the snowboard using this police car. Guys, the chain's attached to the car, and it comes all the way down to here to the snowboard. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on and see if I can stand up and drive around, basically. This is sort of like the street surfing video we did, except, like, extreme car chase. Edward doesn't know we're actually doing this. I don't know if we're even allowed to be doing this with his car craziness. So yeah, let's go. <laughs>
so in case you didn't know, we're actually using this room as a storage area, so yeah, that's why the board is in there, and also why I brought it inside. But yeah, that was pretty cool, I got some pretty good tricks, and at the end, that gazebo actually works really well as a launching pad, but you know what would, it would work even better as? A landing zone for a zip line. That's right. Bones and I have been talking about this idea. We're like, you know what would be sick? A zip line in our backyard. And we finally have something that we can use as the other side of the zip line. We would use our house, but the house was like just a little bit too short. Since like part of the deal was, oh, we get a massive awesome backyard, but the house is one story, not a bad house at all. It's a pretty nice house, and for LEGO guys, it's a big house too. But the thing is, it's kind of short, and besides, there's no roof. It's a force field like I've, we've talked about before, so we're going to be using the top of the gazebo as a landing zone for a force field. And, I mean, not for a force field, for a zip line. And the zip line's going to be a charging cord that Bones found not too long ago, so hopefully it's going to be super steep and cool. So yeah, let's get right to it. Alright guys, basically, what the heck is wrong with my voice? Hold on, give me a second. Alright, there we go. I don't know why my voice sounds so weird, but basically, guys, this is the cord we're going to be using. It's super long. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of difficult, but we're going to pull it taut. We're not going to try and break it or anything, but we're going to try and attach it to the gazebo so you land on the roof of the gazebo, and then... I don't know how you're going to get back up. You're just going to have to climb. But yeah, I'm going to get building. And once we get, finish this, I'll show you guys. We'll give it a few test runs. And I think that might be the end of the vlog. Okay, guys. So we've got the one end of the cable all attached to this gazebo here using this clip. And it's very, very sketchy. But yeah, basically, we just come along here. It gets higher and higher and higher. And Skelty was actually testing it out, but... Help! Help! Skelty got stuck. So, anyway, you can see it peaks right there up to the charging thing, and it comes down, but he got stuck there. So either the thing we used as the holder to hold on to the zip line isn't slippery enough, or Skelty... or the rope, not Skelty. The rope isn't slippery enough. So one of those two things. I think he's catching on the rope. Okay, Bones, I think I shook myself loose a little bit. All right. Ah, hey! Okay, I made it a little lower. Huh, uh, uh. Okay, I can almost reach Skelty now. He's a little bit lower. I don't... Uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this. Ah, oh. ah. It's safe to say it didn't work, but I'm gonna go try it maybe with something else maybe rig up a different kind of thing hopefully i can get more like slipperiness i don't know guys okay guys bones is currently up at the launch pad as you can see we've macgyvered some kind of weird contraption there's a little circle up there and it goes to a chain which attaches to a thing which has legos attached to it because it fits and it's a toothpick and bones is holding onto it attached to the legos and we're about to launch down also we made the initial drop a lot steeper, so it comes all the way down here now, and then it just flatlines. So yeah, basically the right end's here, and you smash into the ground and die. But yeah, let's go ahead and give it a test. Okay. Three, two, one. Go! I did it! Yes! It worked! That was so much fun! Skelty, you've got to try this. Now, the only problem is, is it's super hard to get on and off because look at this. One, you got to drag this whole contraption all the way up, like, I don't know, 100 feet. And two, it's attached to my hand and to get it back on is a real pain. But yeah, the ride ends here and I did nearly break my leg smashing into the ground, but it was still super fun. So we're going to get Skelty to go on it as well. Three, two, one. Yes. I'm stuck! I'm stuck backwards! But that was so much fun! Okay, the only problem is, is once you get off the thing, then you gotta rebuild it completely again. Let's get it! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Ow! Okay, guys, we did take down the zipline because it was a huge eyesore. 
There's the little thing that we put together to go down the zip line. After a lot of engineering and work, it finally came together. So I'm really glad that it all worked out in the end. But basically, that's pretty much the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. We did a ton of cool stuff in this vlog. So if you thought this was an awesome vlog, make sure to smash that like button right now. And make sure to subscribe so you never ever miss a single episode of Bones' vlogs, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace!